Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for June 4th, 2019. So my goodness, what a choppy, ugly day we had yesterday, just bouncing back and forth. We got really whippy because of some news and uh, ended up the day with a really indecisive price action here. Um, uh, on the diamonds where we just kind of whipped back and forth not really knowing uh, what we wanted to do so first off yesterday we get the news that the Department of Justice is going to open up investigations and maybe go after companies like uh, Google Facebook um, Amazon and putting together um, well uh, I gotta tell you I, I just had to chuckle because um, in the midst of of all the uncertainty that we have in the market now now after years and years of complaints of any of antitrust violations now they choose to open that investigation so just had to chuckle about how um how bad their timing is <laughs> on doing this but yesterday in the dow we had just this uh just seesaw back and forth price action if i go to a short-term 15 minute chart you can see yesterday morning we had that initial move up and uh, so we get this pop and drop so we pop up and drop and then we just whip i mean really big whips now this whip right in here was created when james bullard comes out and tells everyone that he believes what we need to do is probably lower interest rates in the face of all of this global uncertainty trade war issues and things like that so we ended up with a bunch of whip around uh, that news creating a, a really really challenging day to really get anything at all done now this morning we're getting a nice gap up this morning currently the Dow futures are pointing to more than a hundred and ten point uh, move in the Dow so gapping up and we could be gapping up right above that 250 uh, level in the market which is an important key level so if we we gap up around there now remember we could gap right up into this hit it as resistance and pull back so kind of keep that in mind we don't want to chase that morning gap we want to wait for proof that buyers will actually step in after that morning gap and if we run right up here bang our head into that we could um, quickly see some selling so be patient wait for those uh, trades to come and make sure that we really see buyers stepping in after the gap also be aware that if we start squeezing out any of the short traders if you know those folks short will be forced to cover and to protect their profits they call that a short squeeze and if we get a short squeeze to kind of fire off and we break back above that 250 watch this price level right up here in the Dow and then remember we are still in a downtrend so no matter how much this whips up here just be careful to remember we've got a lot of work before we start uh, thinking about recovery here in the market but it is nice to see the potential of a relief rally on the way let's take a look at the spy spy more indecision here just whipping back and forth not very nice at all and you can see we have a little bit of price support down in here we didn't quite make it down there before we start to move up now this morning we're looking at a gap up you can see there's that uh, where we're indicating our open right now and that is still below this price resistance in the chart so kind of keep that in mind and that price resistance is actually fairly significant and it travels back in this chart quite a ways so you'll want to keep an eye on that price resistance area in here and I do mean an area when I when I mark a line like this it's not a perfect line it can, that means that we could move up move through anywhere in this area and still be dealing with that price resistance if we happen to get through this level and hold and it they are able to you know kind of get a short squeeze uh, moving along then we're gonna want to watch this next level of price resistance that's very significant in the chart and also the downtrend so let's keep that in mind now if we happen to pop up and catch that pop and drop pattern like we had yesterday we gap up move up and immediately 
find resistance in sellers, we could push right back down to these levels. So remember, uh, we're not out of the woods here. We've got a lot of work to do. Let's take a look at the Qs. Qs, massive technical damage yesterday. Um, all over the place uh, with the news on those antitrust investigations maybe opening up. Falling right down here into price resistance. And, and, you know, let's keep in mind, we've fallen well below our 200-day moving average here in the chart. So any rally back up, we're going to watch this level. And you can see right here is where we're looking to gap up. So we're not recovering yesterday at all or completely. But it is a nice uh, little relief rally. Just remember that 200-day moving average is up here. And if we rally up, we could run right into that as resistance. If we happen to get back up through there, just keep in mind we're still in a downtrend and there's plenty of resistance in the chart that could challenge us on the way up. So watch that close. IWM. IWM um, actually played along pretty nice yesterday and just really didn't get involved in any of the heavy selling. Um, a, a, another indecisive day setting right here on this uh, important price support. So IWM might have opportunity to move higher here. And you can see we're gapping up this morning. Just keep in mind these resistance levels in the chart and they are rather significant. Um, we've got a lot of work to do here before this gets bullish. So just keep that in mind. We're gonna be pushing up toward those resistance levels. Um, let's take a look at the VIX. Now, the VIX was kind of interesting yesterday. Even though the VIX did make a little bit of a rally uh, midday, um, we were up just a little bit. It never really started to show a, a tremendous fear, um, which has been really, really surprising to me. The way the market has been sinking and all the technical damage that's been going on, there really has been no fear uh, to speak of in the market. And now this morning, this gap up the, this morning, I would guess is going to make that uh, lower high in here. Right there on a trend line. How about that? Could may be making that lower high. We could be moving back here um, a little bit. Uh, we'll see if this relief rally can really pick up and, and move us along, but looking pretty decent here um, overall. We just had a tremendous jump in the futures as we've been talking. That jump um, um, up almost 150 points here. I don't know what inspired that all of a sudden, but futures are moving a little bit higher um, as we talk. Let's take a look at uh, T2122. T2122, that four week new high, new low ratio. I plot this on a line chart and you can see that four week new high, new low ratio uh, shows us when we reach these oversold conditions. What's interesting is there really wasn't a whole lot going on in uh, in this yesterday until just the last 10 minutes of the day. And I think it's the dark pool activity and things being accum accumulated to the market at the end of the day. We all of a sudden started, started to see real buying pressure right at the end of the day pushing the market up and giving us this little bounce um, off of this area. So this morning's bounce, pretty significant. We could spike clear back up into here. Um, just remember that the farther we go, if we overextend this daily move, we can expect a pullback to occur pretty quickly. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, if they can trigger a short squeeze, that would be, um, it could be a, a really strong up day. And, um, then we'll be right back in these situations where we get these high spikes and we turn right back around. So watch that price volatility. I don't expect that to go away um, just because we're catching a little bit of a relief rally back to resistance levels. Remember, guys, there's just been tremendous technical damage created in these charts. There's going to be a lot of work uh, for these to come back. Just imagine if all we do is move back to the 200-day moving average. That's a tremendous relief rally. But that 200-day moving average 
could provide some significant resistance. So we're a long ways from correcting this and, and looking at ourselves in a full recovery. So think about that when you plan your trades forward and how you want to handle those. Remember, it may be wise if you get into those nice profitable positions to be scaling out or taking those profits relatively quickly just because those reversals could happen at any time. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You know, um, it doesn't have to be a big comment, but every one of those comments, every one of those thumbs ups really help uh, those algorithms show these videos to more people. So thank you so much to those who do that. It means a ton to me. You guys are the best. I truly Truly, truly appreciate that. And also, please feel free to share this video with any friends, family that you might think could benefit from this information. So with that, let's take a look at a few charts that, that are setting up or could could really be looking good. Um, um, and, and we'll look at some long trades this morning just because the market's looking so bullish. Take a look at Shopify. Now, I've mentioned Shopify many times. Shopify yesterday pulled back to test this price support. You can see this morning it's probably looking to open just a little bit higher. And if this can hold right in here, move over toward this trend, I still think there's a possibility that Shopify uh, finds that love and can move right on up. So watch that that closely. Shopify still is in that realm of good possibilities in my book. Take a look at Roku. Roku did have a little bit of pullback uh, the last couple of days, but Roku, blue sky up here, pulling back, trying to test these uh, this level right in here where we broke through and holding right now. So this has that possibility that this could consolidate all the way over to the trend or even pull back into the trend. But let's watch this close. There's also the possibility with a little bit of market love, this could find its legs right in here and move on higher. So let's keep an eye on Roku. Might be a nice chart to watch. Um, LMT, LMT had a beautiful day yesterday popping up just a nice little morning star type pattern um, finding uh, finding this little trend right in here and looking higher now keep in mind um, LMT has some resistance that it has to deal with here but watch that closely as we start moving up here if that breaks through LMT could have some good upside potential and maybe a place to watch some of those defensive stocks really made nice moves yesterday. Take a look at PepsiCo. Whoops. PepsiCo, nice move here off of its trend. Nice little bullish look. Um, we might want to watch this for more follow through. You can see it's looking to gap up a little bit this morning. A little more follow through, maybe moving that trend higher. Coca-Cola also, huge move in Coke yesterday really popping strong, looking really, really good by the end of the day. So there's some good charts starting to show up out there. There's some good places to start looking for uh, for trades, but we're going to have to be a little bit careful with this market volatility. We don't want to get too nutty about this either, over trading and doing some of those real silly things that can cost us a lot of money. Um, other places that you might want to look is like Procter and Gamble, PNG, uh, not PNG, um, PFE, Pfizer. PFE, there we go, if I can type. PFE. Um, um, holding up yesterday, moving up in this trend. This is a nice little uptrend in the chart. And by the way, this is a pattern that I look for all the time. I look for these charts that are showing these higher highs, higher lows, breaking their downtrend and proving after breaking the downtrend, they can hold that as support. So although this has some resistance to deal with here, Pfizer's looking pretty decent with this move. And you can see Pfizer's gapping up this morning and uh, might be looking pretty good with this market move. So might want to take a look at some of those healthcare issues that might be showing some signs of profitability or, I mean, uh, good moves today, not necessarily profitability. Um, a chart that I've been keeping 
keeping close tabs on is Disney. Um, and, and I'm keeping close tabs on it because of this big wedge pattern on this weekly chart. You can see just a beautiful breakout here and rising lows all the way through this. This is a multi-year um, uh, wedge. And if you take a look at um, this current price action here on the daily, this rest and pullback in here, consolidating over. I'm waiting for something to show me some buy in here. I had a price alert on this chart right in here. I was hoping we were gonna pop up off of this area and move, but this market sell-off has, has pushed us back down. So we wanna keep an eye on this. I don't think this is ready for prime time yet, and this may still have to go sideways a little bit or consolidate a little bit more after such a big move but it's worth keeping an eye on and one to put on your watch list as uh, it's just something to watch so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a great day and i want to wish you great profits and um, once again please do me a favor click that subscribe button click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment and also please um just make sure that if um, if you get some benefit out of this video that you share it with others. I'd really, really appreciate that. Um, if you're struggling as trader, uh, please remember this is a challenging market. Everyone, and I mean everyone, don't let them lie to you. They are being challenged by this market because of the price volatility, the uncertainty, the, the almost daily reversal gaps um, has, has been very, very challenging challenging except for maybe those very very um, experienced intraday traders um, there's been some good trading there but if you're struggling you're not alone and um, times like this can really challenge any trader so it's one of those times where some one of the best things you can do at times is just to back off and not trade so much, not press, not work so hard to put your money at risk. Just wait until your edge returns. Remember the market will be here tomorrow. And oftentimes it's less trading can produce more profits if we're patient and wait for those good entries. So with that, everyone, take care, have an awesome day, and we'll talk to you all bright and early on Wednesday morning. Wish you all the best.